The Notion API is finally here and that is great news for everybody. The problem is that everybody includes the users, but it also includes the hackers. Let's talk about it, shall we? Hello everybody, it is Julia here and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the fact that I am both an avid Notion user and a student of computer science for the past eight years, in particular of computer system security, kind of makes me feel like I have to give the warning message about the things that can go wrong with this API if we are not careful. So before it's too late, let me just put this video out there and hopefully help somebody safeguard their data. Why can things go wrong now more than they could before? Well, because now we have an API. What is an API? It is an application programming interface. So it, it is a standard way to exchange data to and from the application that can be used by anybody. It's a standard way in which everybody can communicate with Notion databases and can write applications to, for example, create a new page every time your internet connected coffee machine brews a new coffee, whatever. This is awesome news for the community because it will allow people to share their own integrations and to make every Notion workspace even more fine-tuned towards the individual's needs. But the problem is that these APIs will be programmed by users and this user will require to have access to your own database ID and API key. So you're basically giving someone else the keys to your own house, to your own Notion workspace, to create, read, write, delete data. What could possibly go wrong, huh? We already have a clear example of how things didn't go as well in the past. In the Chrome Web Store, there's a ton of extensions that really help users to make a better experience out of their Chrome usage. But it, the Chrome Web Store is also a minefield of malware and malicious extensions that just steal the data and create problems for the users and for privacy reasons. Now, the API is here and it's great news. Should we not use it just because an extension might be not benign? No, but I think we need to be careful about who we are allowing into our house because especially since Notion does not encrypt your content in the cloud and it might be sensitive information that you store online, you shouldn't because as I said, it's not encrypted. But anyway, it is there and if someone other than Notion has access to your own databases, you better make sure that you trust them just as much as you trust Notion with your private information. How can you do that though? How can we possibly trust someone online? This is a very tough question to answer and I do not have a definitive solution for it. I have some principles. I wrote a Medium article that I actually will link in the description box about ways in which you can triage, for example, smartphone applications to make sure that they are using the right permissions, that they're not making sketchy things with your data. I think that would be applicable to Notion as well. But for example, a guiding principle that I will use for Notion integrations to decide which ones to use, which ones not to use. It's just an assessment of the stakes that the other user has in the game to make it right. For example, I, I think I'm gonna trust Automate.io, I think I'm gonna trust Zapier because these two services provide already to this day integrations from Notion to a whole lot of different apps, just providing an API key in between. And that is a paid service. I think they have a free account type that allows for a certain number of operations per day. But generally speaking, these two apps have stakes in the game. They have an economic interest in making sure that your data doesn't get, you know, sold to people that will make malicious use of it. So I would trust them more than I would trust a random extension that I find online, for which I, I really do not have access to the source code to see if they are sending my data to some kind of sketchy website that I don't really know what even is. I think that now that Notion is opening the gates to all the users to contribute to the Notion experience with their own integrations, it's gonna be vital for everybody to take extra care in the protection of their own data because protection of your privacy and your sensitive information is your best interest and it's not necessarily the best interest of the people that wrote the extension for you. Generally speaking, I like to trust people and I am sure that most of the extensions will be benign and there will be a, a marketplace emerging of Notion extensions and integrations that are, is provided by users for other users, which is beautiful. It's a sharing economy. It's something that I do love, but we also need to be realistic. The internet is not necessarily a place where the entities, the people you interact with have your own data protection and data privacy as their best interest. And you need to make sure that you have you take good care of that before you are cut out of your precious data. That being said, I am extremely excited for the Notion API being finally available. In the coming days, I think I will have a look at it and I think I might 
do some tutorials to explain how to use it and or maybe develop some integrations that I can make available for you guys. If you have any ideas, please write them in the description below. But I really felt like I had to leave this message out in the world to make sure that people do not underestimate the dangers that come with the power of having a public API that everybody can program. I hope this video was useful for you. For this week, this was everything. And I hope to see you all next Sunday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content and more, and if you want more Notion tutorials and commentary, you can also subscribe. Um, otherwise, I will see you all next Sunday. Thanks a lot. Bye.